Hey everyone, our friends at LDO Motors sent us this fancy new PI heater to test on our V0. Now, this is a 100 watt heater, so the stock power supply isn't going to cut it. That's why LDO also sent over this Mornson 200 watt power supply. We'll be comparing the heaters head to head in a few quick tests. The Kinovo is a 60 watt heater with a thermistor attached to the bottom of a heating pad. The PI heater is 100 watts with a thermistor actually threaded into the bed itself. We're going to use three different configurations for this test. The first is a standard sized 8 mm thick bed with a 60 watt Kinovo heater. Next we have another standard size 8 mm bed, but this one has our 100 watt PI heater. The last bed we're going to use has an oversized 130 mm bed from Mandola Roseworks. It's 6.5 mm thick and has the same 60 watt Kinova. We're going to test how fast it heats up and how accurate the thermistor reads at various temperatures compared to the temperature gun. So now the testing. The graph on the right was in two minute intervals for some reason. It was neat to see how straight the heat curve is on the PI heater. Thermistor placement made a huge difference in the overall accuracy. We tested the bed temperatures at 75 degrees. Again, as soon as it hit 100 degrees, we then let it heat soak for five minutes and measured again. And then finally, we let it sit for 15 minutes and measured one more time. As we were expecting, the thinner bed heated up faster, but did take a little longer to soak because of the larger size. The PI heater absolutely destroyed the heat time, mostly due to the 100 watt heater. The thermistor in the bed meant it was able to hold 100 on the bed surface while the others never really got there. Looking forward to seeing more of these heaters in the wild and hearing about how they performed for you. If you've got one, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and a huge thanks to LDO for help making this video possible.